Of course, Star Wars is important to me because I saw it when I was just a kid. And I dreamed of going to space. I really, sincerely wanted to be an astronaut. But instead, I went to theater school. So, <laughs> no astronaut for me. And I never looked back until I saw this actual video that NASA just released. Hi, I'm Charlie Bolden. I'm an astronaut myself, and I'm recruiting the best and brightest Americans to join me. We're on the lookout for a new generation of space pioneers. Do you think you have what it takes to join NASA's next astronaut class? Yes, I do, astronaut Charlie Bolton, pick me! <laughs> it turns out that NASA wants new astronauts to carry out deep space exploration missions that will advance a future human mission to Mars. Well, I'd be perfect to go to Mars. It's my favorite planet and my favorite Bruno. <laughs> And I'm ready to leave Earth immediately, or really any time before Donald Trump takes office. <laughs> and I got the application. I've got the application right here from NASA. I hope you don't mind that I'm filling out a hard copy, NASA. I'm not that great with computers, okay? <laughs> So let's do this. Let's see. Uh, under education, it says they're looking for candidates with degrees in biology, math, engineering, or physics. Well, I majored in all those in college. And you know why you believe me? Because I actually majored in theater. <laughs> I can always... I can just act like an astronaut. I'm an actronaut. Plus, uh, let's see, it says I should have three years professional experience or 1,000 hours of jet aircraft time. Well, I have that covered because I am a United Airlines Platinum Frequent Flyer. <laughs> this bad boy, mm, this gets me one free check bag onto the International Space Station. <laughs> and as for professional experience, let's see. Well, I already know how to go to the bathroom in a vacuum tube. <laughs> I've been practicing with my Dyson, and let me tell you, <laughs> they really do never lose suction. <laughs> let's see, uh, b -b 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 space experience. Uh, let's see, I've taken one small step, I've taken <laughs> one giant leap, and I once had a very big problem in Houston. <laughs> By which I mean, I spent some time in Houston. <laughs> let's see, special skills, uh, I can drive stick. I can speak Spanish accent. <laughs> Plus, uh, I can juggle. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. Imagine how great this would be, zero gravity. Now, in case of an alien encounter, I am fully prepared to be probed, thanks to all the practice I've had with the Dyson. Note to extraterrestrials, I prefer the brush attachment. <laughs> okay, let's get this. Let's get this into the old envelope here. And get in there. Okay. So NASA can properly size my helmet. I'm including one of my old headshots. <laughs> okay. Oh, and just to tip the scales in my favor, I've got a letter of recommendation from my friend. Mr. Lincoln. Now, now just to send it where NASA can find it, space. <laughs> so, please, please pick me, NASA. I'm the right guy for the job. I will not let you down. My only condition is that I get to bring along my vacuum cleaner. We've become very close. <laughs> I've named him Neil deGrasse Dyson. 